Recorders, etc., know this already, for that they make them in sets, and likewise bell founders in fitting the tune of their bells, so that inquiry may save trial. Surely it hath been observed by one of the ancients that an empty barrel knocked upon with the finger giveth a diapsum to the sound of the like barrel full. But how that should be, I do not well understand. But that the knocking of a barrel full or empty don't scare, scarce give any tone. Well, Mark, that's complicated. That's Aristotle. He's saying that if two equal vessels, one is empty, the other half full, the note given by the latter, be an octave above that given by the former. What John Kelly was saying in essence in the tradition of Aristotle is this congresswoman from Miami is a big mouth. She's not a full barrel, she's an empty barrel. But she bellows on, on my interpretation, as if she's a full barrel. She's an empty barrel. No, no, you don't. Right. No, it's not racism. It's nothing to do with racism. It's nothing whatsoever to do with racism. And trust me, when I tell you this congresswoman wouldn't know because she sees racism all over the place. I see it when she looks in the mirror. But in comes Lawrence O'Donnell. Do you remember Lawrence O'Donnell? He's the among the conga line of freaks on MSLSD. And before I get to the late, not so great Lawrence uh, O'Donnell on MSLSD yesterday, coming to the defense of the Congresswoman and trashing General Kelly, I want to remind you how Mr. O'Donnell is when the click lights are not on, when he doesn't think he's being recorded how he treats human beings behind the scenes. Reminder, cut six, go. What's going on? Why am I losing this? Why don't I have sound? All right, it's back. Someone's pressing buttons and turning my sound off. Who is, who's asking for a Labor Day rundown in my ear? Someone in that control room is out of control. What do you think? in the control room tonight. You have insanity in my earpiece. Don't, don't leave it there. It's not my earpiece. It's somebody talking on our lines. No, no, no. You don't understand. It's not your earpiece because you're insane, you buffoon. Go ahead. <laughs> Every time we go to a sock, there's a woman talking in my ear about something that has nothing to do with what we're doing here. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I've got a hammer. Is it on the end? Go up on the other floor. Somebody go up there and stop the hammering. Stop the hammering. It's not the hammering. It's the plate in your head, you moron. Go ahead. I'll go down to the go floor myself and stop it. Keep the go commercial break going. It was scary. Call Phil Griffin. I don't care who the you have to call. Stop Ooh. the hammering. Empty out the goddamn control room and find out where this is going what on. What a nice liberal. What a, what a good liberal. What a gracious, compassionate human being. Go ahead. Or there. Or out there somewhere. The woman talking in my ear was talking about the Labor Day special. We have, by the way, what is the Labor Day special? Is it a pastrami sandwich? I'm just curious. Go ahead. Every time we went to a sock, yeah, what do you mean in the conversation? Not in the bush thought, no. Out of control. I don't know why I bother to say how to cut the thoughts when you don't do it. By the way, the guy who had the guts to put this together and put it out has, of course, been fired. Go ahead. 
I don't know why I, I just... So now I have to chase those stupid <laughs> entrails that you allowed him to stick out there. And that now he's attacking a guest. Go ahead. Crazy sound coming in my ear. Stupid head. Have you got the sound in your ear? I told you it's the metal plate in your head. Go ahead. I told you why I wanted those f***ing words cut. What? It just f***ing sucks. It f***ing sucks to be out Tons here back. with Tons this out of control f***. Any f***ing thing can come in my ear at any moment. That's what I know. What, what, anything can come in his ear at any moment? Go ahead. Can get into my f***ing ear at any time. There you Some go. Some talking about what we're doing after the show. What are you doing after the show? Clown. Go ahead. Things. Oh. There's a reason these words have to be cut precisely. And everyone in the audience is going to complain about what that guy just said is absolutely right. How do you say this guy's last name? <laughs> Faces coming up in the middle of a script. It's a tough life when you're a lib and the world isn't perfect. And so you start trashing everybody around you. When you go on the air, you put a fake smile on your face. You have makeup taped over your face to uh, hide the pock marks. And a lot of uh, little dab will do you in his hair to keep that straight. And he comes up, hi America, how are you? Yeah, Donald Trump sucks. Can you believe what Donald Trump tweets out? And the mic is off and the camera's off. Hey, what's the is a racist. This is from an Irish Catholic neighborhood in Boston. And I remember the day when there was forced busing in Boston. And there were big fights over this. Forced busing. And the Supreme Court actually intervened at one point and, 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 and split the baby, so to speak. It was a forced busing ordered by a federal judge. And I want to remind you, Boston is the heart of Kennedy land, of John Kerry land. This is where they got their political power from in the first place. And you will not hear John uh, uh, Lawrence O'Donnell make that point. It'll come to Ted Kennedy's defense, because Ted Kennedy supported the busing. But the fact of the matter is, all through that period, the Kennedy clan really had done nothing up to that point. But that's, that's not the point. What does John Kelly have to do with this? By the way, John Kelly was born May 11, 1950. May 11, the same, same date as my son. Lawrence O'Donnell was born November 7, 1951. A year and a half apart. Says he's familiar with the neighborhood. Cut five, go. I grew up a few years after John Lee in an identical neighborhood. No, you didn't grow up a few years after him. Almost immediately after him. You were nearly at the same age. Go ahead out of Boston and I went to high school in John Kelly's neighborhood. I know the neighborhood John Kelly comes from. I know the culture. It was a neighborhood in which calling someone who looked like... Right, Scott. So here we go. Here we go. Everybody in the neighborhood's a racist. John Kelly was born there. Hence, John Kelly is a racist. A Marine, a retired four-star Marine general who saw combat, whose son died in combat. A Marine general who has committed his entire life defending this country, and this piece of useless bleep on a useless MSNBC, which is the favorite network of North Korean generals, whose favorite show is the morning schmo, that putz, and his wife, Mrs. Schmo. This clown dares to impugn the character of Kelly because Kelly dares to stand up to a kook congresswoman who tries to exploit a president's call, President Trump's call to a widow. How sick are the progressives, whether they're in government, out of government, whether they're on TV or on radio? How sick are these people? Go ahead. An empty barrel? 
was the kindest thing that would have been empty said. Empty barrel, you moron. Like your empty cranium. So <clears> stupid. <throat>